I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hi, welcome Hello. back. Hello! Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki the, Smokey. The game is gradually getting fucking weirder. Hey, what's this? Boop. Aw. Boop. That's the teeniest snoot you can boop. Oh, I booped that snoot. I Nothing weird has happened with Monica, right? Uh, well, she appeared in front of the text. She did. She did. For a sec. That was weird. But nothing with her, like, face or anything. No. Like with the other girls. I don't think so. Alright. Hi, friend Aaron. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe, uh, to start with, you can tell me what the fuck is going on. I'm starting How about to, that? I'm starting to think, like, we should start taking everything sort of more literally. Yes. Like, when she said, I'm always listening, I'm- I'm thinking maybe she is always She's listening. She's always listening? Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't- I think all bets are off at this point. Alright, let's- Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring these up. I'm much better at just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share- want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to- Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Don't worry, friend Aaron. We are all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, friend Aaron. Oh. As much as a robot can like anything. Mm hmm I mean, person. Mm-hmm. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. People can talk. <laughs> so take that as a compliment. Ha ha ha. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. <laughs> like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. What the fuck? I don't I don't know that she said that last time. Yeah, that- I do not recall that. <laughs> but hey, some guys are into petite girls you know. She definitely did not say this. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Yes, I do. Gradually getting fucking weirder, girl. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident as someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. In order to blend in. <laughs> that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. But she was. But. Okay. I thought the capital letters were like spelling something. But oh, I no. Hole yeah. in wall. Yeah. Hub kub. <laughs> well, I saw, I saw like boat and oh, I was like, whoa, what? Gotcha. Um, hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The mu the room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. What that the wasn't the one last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. This Oof. also... Mmm... Yes. Yeah? He, I, there's gotta be some code in here or yeah. something. I'm feeling like there's some code or something in here. But confused, but are or the me surroundings colored that, no. Are, th are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is getting weird. All right, well, let's just okay. leave it be. Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> so, what do you think? I love it! Funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny stuff! Mm, uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, 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 ah. It's okay. Yeah. I, there's literally nowhere I want to be less than right here, right now, in front of you. <laughs> I'm so scared! 
Yeah, that kind of style has gotten me pretty popular nowadays. <laughs> that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a lot. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. No, please tell me. Uh, maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, oh boy. here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. I guess Sayori is dead. If you try so hard to make it perfect, shut it down. <laughs> Sayori is not alive. <laughs> if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. No, thank you, Monica. Phew! Oh boy. I'm scared as shit. <laughs> yeah. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities and also trying to scare me at any moment. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I can sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Frantically crawling out of a pile of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Is that all yeah, that happens? Imagine, imagine it. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, did you say something? Uh, it's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is... cute. CUTE?! Did you complain that it's a symbolism in something?! People can miss! <laughs> it's certainly about the feeling of giving up! How can that be cute?! Uh, I know that. <laughs> I just meant... the language, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try so hard to come up with something nice to say? Yeah. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. No, I agree. It sucks. Um, <laughs> well, I do have a couple of suggestions. One, stop being a bitch all the time. Yeah. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Everybody liked it. There are so many people in this club. <laughs> Monica liked it. And friend Aaron did, too. So based on that, I would gladly give some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Or you cease to have eyes and a mouth for whatever reason, <laughs> which I haven't yet. Mm. And friend Aaron liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I, uh, you, you're just... Yuri, Yuri stands up as well! <laughs> you're just jealous that friend Aaron appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself... <laughs> There'd be I, a tiny little me's crawling around <laughs> inside me. Yeah, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Like... <laughs> like a dumb bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Name not Suki! <laughs> but you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Fred Aaron started showing up! N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't involve, involve you. you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. And they're tissue paper boobs. <laughs> you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Whoa, Me? whoa, look whoa, Look who's whoa. talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch! Oh my god, edgy? Oh god, this music is getting weird. <laughs> Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point! Oh my god. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? Oh god, I'm freaked out. If you wanna prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. 
You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Oh fuck. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself with an injury! Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on! Oh boy. Let Fred Aaron hear everything you really think! I'm sure he'll head over heels and he'll be head over heels after this! Uh, uh. Suddenly, Aaron turns towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. What's with all the fuzz? Friend Aaron. <laughs> she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! Fred. How did I get inside? I don't know what that's worth of that. Whoa. Uh, 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 Oh boy. I can't! Oh boy. I got Yuri! <laughs> Yuri! Ah! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Hey, friend Aaron, why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Yeah, why don't we, Monica? <clears throat> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Well, we'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Some president, I am right. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wished I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. I my robot feet. I think... I think there's more truth to the fact that we gave her a robot voice than... Yeah, I'm get uh, like, I'm starting to get the sense that, like... She's, like, controlling everything. She, or or th something's not right with her. Cause I, I, I think she's like every time the game like fucks up, she like just kind of butts in. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, look over here." Yeah, there's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Oh, good. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Fred. <laughs> she quickly runs Bye. away. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Nasuki or did. Friend Aaron, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Fred. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. What the fuck does completely Fred. mean? Fred, yeah. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Fred. <laughs> well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. Yeah. That kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with friend Aaron. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. It's a porno book. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... Pre oh, oh, she ate you under... Oh, yeah. Whoa. Fucking god damn it. Doki Doki. Oh my god, I hate Party. this. <laughs> Vivid. Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Dazzle. <laughs> Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Mm, ribbon. Ribbon. Lucky. Lucky. Cheer. <laughs> Cheer. Poof. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> mm, fun. Fun. Bliss. Bliss. Um, Disoriented. Yeah. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> Suicide. Uh, oh, why was Yuri? Destiny. Destiny. Uh, melancholy. Melancholy. Agonizing. Agonizing. Death. Death. Oh, boy. Lust. Lust. Hell yeah. Parfait. Oh, boy. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Jeez. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over so the wait, past- So wait, what the fuck happened? I was Yuri, Yuri wanted to stay and talk to us and then she just glitched? Sure. 
Oh boy. Well, Monica didn't want us to spend time with you. Yeah, people. it did seem that way, didn't it? Yeah. Oh boy. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here the past couple days. Okay, I haven't. That makes fucking one of us. Uh, how about next time on Game Rooms? Alright. Oh boy. <gasps> I have to go make Tinkle Tankles. Yeah, me too. Right back. Oh great, let's do it together. Oh, that's fun. What if I did it up your butt? No, what? What if I, what if I just, like, as a prank, like, I just- <laughs> As a prank? In your butt? Yeah. And then started peeing inside you, as you were peeing. It's not gay, it's a prank. So it's, it's sort of like cleaning out your, your colon. And also you get to sleep. Please stop talking.